Another great feature of Google Sheets is the ability to make charts and graphs of the data. So let's start by making a chart of the data we have right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select what I have. And I'm going to go over here and just there's a actually a chart button, insert chart. So select the data you want to make a chart of, click insert, and ta-da, there's your data. So this one is defaulting to a pie chart. It feels that this is the, the best option. However, over here in the chart editor, I could change it to a lot of different things. Um, you could do a graph that way, columns, you know. So you can change to some various things. Um, I'm going to go back here to the to the pie chart. Um, and again, you can make some different edits. Let's close this. I'll move it out of the way. Some things to think about with your chart. You can change the name of the chart. Okay, whatever you want. Um, close this. You can also, from this three-dot menu, download the chart as an image or PDF. Publish it, which means you're going to publish just, um, well, just the chart. You will get a link so someone could access just that chart. You can move it to its own uh, sheet, or you can add alt text. This is really important for screen readers, um, for people who have vision impairments, to be able to understand what the chart is because they can't see it. So you click on alt text, you give it a title, and you give it a description um, of what is in the chart. You would probably want to describe the data as well. So that's how you're going to add alt text to a chart. Now, one thing I want to point out that, that can happen, I'm going to go over to a different sheet. It looks the same. Uh, everything, you know, was pretty much the same, um, same location, same number of visitors. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my text, go over here to chart. And there we have it. Looks good, except for this one problem. This chart has one, two, three, four different places, whereas one, two, three, four, five, six are listed in my actual um, data. So there's a problem. We have some things missing. So let's delete this chart. Um, go over here, delete chart, and see what the problem might be. Now, I'm going to tell you the problem in this case. The, the issue is that the... Um, the chart doesn't know what our data is. So these are all numbers. So I'm going to select this and go up to format, number, and just make sure that it's recognizing all of those things as numbers. So I've changed it, made sure it understands they're all numbers. And let's try it again. Select, chart, and ta-da. Now we have all of the different places that, that should be there. So if you find that there's an issue where some of the data in your um, in your sheet isn't showing up in the chart, just double check that it's all registering as a number or whatever it may be, uh, and that could help the problem.